OK, folks, here's what you need to know. A blizzard warning is in effect for this purplish color you see right here. And then we have a winter storm warning in effect for other regional areas here in the News 10 viewing area. And so consequently, we're just going to get snow and a lot of wind and drifting conditions. Now, this is a situation that is developing minute by minute. So because of that, we have Storm Team 10's Joe Ostrowski in the studio, and he's at the Weather Center and can bring us up to date about the latest that he has. Joe. Well, Kevin, we're watching uh, at this point Southern Illinois because that's one of the areas that would be impacted first. We're seeing light snow now in Marion, Illinois, but really across that whole region, we're seeing increased winds, sustained winds uh, from 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusts from 25 to 35 miles an hour. Uh, all of that which could add to problems traveling in that snow as it blows. Now, we also have, because of those travel problems, four uh, travel advisories, according to the Indiana Department of Homeland Security. Those are for Vigo County, Greene County, Davies County and Knox County. Again, travel advisories for those four counties, according to the Indiana Department of, Home, of Homeland Security. We're told that other local law enforcement agencies are going to be out in force overnight through the day tomorrow as well, bringing in extra people who were scheduled to be off today. Uh, we've also been hearing uh, from, from folks online contacting us that there have been a few uh, grocery stores in some communities that are opening to let people get some of those last minute supplies before this storm makes its way to us. And just one that uh, a number of people pointed to was Babs Super Value and Spencer. They opened earlier this evening and apparently were quite packed by people trying to get again those last minute supplies because as we've been talking about through the night, travel could be hazardous at, at points during this storm. And so if you, if you can get something, the earlier the better. Uh, but again, we're gonna continue monitoring those travel advisories. We're gonna continue monitoring uh, conditions elsewhere around the region uh, and bringing you those details through the night and through tomorrow morning, Kevin. All right, uh, thank you very much, Joe. And now as we watch this snow creep up here, as you can see into southern parts of Illinois, some rain in Kentucky. We're not too concerned at this point of this becoming a freezing rain event. I think mostly that this is going to start as snow and continue as snow as we get through the uh, nighttime hours and into the day tomorrow. And here, see where it says Vincennes? Right here along Highway 50 from Olney over to Vincennes. We're picking up some uh, returns here, which is most likely light snow here. So Highway 50 between Olney and Vincennes most likely is becoming slick as the temperature is right now right at about 32 degrees. And so the snow comes down and then sticks to the uh, pavement and then becomes quite slippery and the wind as Joe mentioned, is quite a problem too. Here are the estimates for the storm. North of Highway 70, maybe as much as six inches of snow. And this gives us a little fudge room right in through here along Highway 70. South of 70, we're talking anywhere from seven to 10 inches of snow all the way up toward Indianapolis. So this is a major snow event. And this may be hard to measure because of the drifting that we're expecting along with these winds that have been gusting, as Joe mentioned, at 25, 30 miles per hour. Look at this sustained wind right now, 15 miles per hour, 17 miles per hour, 15 in Lafayette. That's a sustained wind from the northeast gusting at 23 miles per hour. So any snow that falls is going to be drifting and flying around 33 degrees here in Terre Haute right now with the wind chill. It feels like it's in the 20s. Here's a look at the storm team future cast bringing this snow in. The rain stays farther to the south, but the snow spreads all across the south central portion of Indiana and the south eastern portion of Illinois. And so this is a blizzard. This is blizzard like conditions and will bring us some very heavy snow. And so for the overnight snow developing two to four inches for the overnight uh, tonight, 34 heavy snow likely tomorrow, four to eight more inches, not out of the question and then blowing snow and drifting likely tomorrow with an overnight low tomorrow night of 24 degrees. Then we get into Friday and Saturday and it calms down. And after we leave here on the 11 o'clock news, don't worry because 
Chief Meteorologist David Wire and Lindsay Monroe will be in here and they will keep you informed as you get into the morning hours because I think the morning commute is uh, going to be especially treacherous, especially during the darkness hours. That's when it's really dangerous in a situation like this.